everyone. I'm Dr. Pavitra Nagaraj, pediatric and adolescent endocrinologist working at Narayana Hospitals, Bangalore. Today, I would want to talk about the growth of the child. Why am I talking about this topic is, of late, maybe say after we had the Olympics, I've had many children coming into my OPD concerned about their heights and they have come very late. I think talking about this today would help you to come to me earlier and maybe I would be of help to have a good height for all the children. So when we talk about growth of a child, it includes many aspects which includes physical, emotional, psychological and many many more aspects come under growth of a child. Let's talk about the physical growth of a child which includes the height and the weight. Me, being an endocrinologist, I would want to stress more on the height of the child. So when a child comes or goes to his or her pediatrician from the beginning, say immunization is the best contact a child could have with a doctor. So I request all the parents to stress on plotting the height or the length less than two years and height more than two years and weight on the growth charts. The growth charts are nothing but graphs which are age and gender specific which has height and weight of that particular age. So when we plot the height and the weight on the growth charts, we get to know where the child stands for his or her age. The second point what we have to plot on the growth charts are the MPH that's nothing but the mid parental height or the target height. So what this says is, depending on the parent's height, that is the mother's and the father's height, we calculate the target height of the child because everything is genetics. If a parent is short, you cannot expect the child to be taller. So once we plot the MPH on the growth chart, then we can identify if the child is really short or is it because of genetics. So when the parents are short and also the child is short, we label it as familial short stature. There is another entity called constitutional growth and delayed puberty. This is when is there is history of sudden growth spurt either in the mother or father usually or to say more commonly in the father that is the father would have been very short initially and he would have had sudden growth spurt during his puberty so this can also be seen in children other than this if there is no history of cdgp that is constitutional delay or if the child is short other than the causes like if the father or the mother didn't have a sudden growth spurt or if the parents are tall but the child is short is what is concerning. The other point also when you plot the height on the growth chart if the child has had a sudden growth spurt in the earlier ages is also a concern. So if a child is short but the parents are tall and there is no history that is when you will have to meet the endocrinologist. There are n number of causes of a child being short the most common being hypothyroidism. The other causes include idiopathic short stature and many many more short stature. So I request all of you if you feel the child is not growing tall, if you feel that the child is still using the same clothes which is brought one or two years back, using the same shoes or the slippers and there is no increase in the size of your child's slippers is when you will have to worry and get your child's height and weight plotted on the growth chart and meet the specialist that is pediatric endocrinologist. Thank you.